Student Council is hosting a dodgeball tournament on November 21st. It is $2 per player to participate and you can have up to 8 people on your team. All the money will go towards the adopt a student. So what does adopt a student have to do with the dodgeball tournament? Well, since you asked, all the money that our students raise here at SJMS goes towards Christmas presents for our students here who don't have supper on the holidays. The 7th graders will play in the morning and the 8th graders will play in the afternoon. The winner of the 7th and 8th grade will then get together and play the winner and those two will play the teachers to see who wins it all. The winners of your 7th grade dodgeball team last year was the Dominators, which consisted of Tayton, KJ, Callie, Olivia, Jada, Carson, Peyton, Cade, and Kaysen. Make sure you get your teams together soon so you can be the next SGMS Dodgeball Champs. Next Wednesday, Student Council will be handing out 600 turkeys to families that cannot afford them at Second Harvest. With Second Harvest, we'll be handing out another 700 turkeys at Carden Park, Lake Ontario, and at the corner of Parrot and Highway 169 behind McDonald's. Tate and Pieper Gertis said he enjoyed handing out the dinners last year and is looking forward to handing out the dinners this year, even though it's probably going to be really cold. Here are some pictures from last year. Tune in next week to see this year's pictures. Entrepreneurship trip? There was a field trip on Wednesday for entrepreneurship. They left at 8 10 and came back at 11. They went to Cup of Joe and Auntie Anne's. The people who went are Cameron Allen, Morgan Bartram, Denver Judge, Caden Sugg, Lindsay Lund, Alejandra Molina, and Bryson Ward. Ralston and we need some advice. What do you guys need advice on? Boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you guys need help with? Um, how do you think a boy should ask us out on dates? I think that they should come up to you guys in person and not do it over text messaging or Snapchat because I think that's that tells you like they really like you if they do it in person. What do you like in a boy? Well, I think that humor is probably like one of the most fun, like it's the best part. Um, I really look for humor in a guy, someone that makes me laugh and um, someone that's fun and likes to do fun things. Um, intelligence, I feel like that's a really good quality to have. One that uh, can be faithful. I think that's also a very, very good thing for loyal. There we go. For especially kids your age. And how do you know if the relationship isn't working when you should break it off? Good question. I feel like if there's more than, like if you are trying more than the other person, you should probably break it up. Or um, if he's being mean to you and saying mean things, maybe in a jokey manner, but it's still mean, it hurts your feelings, break up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for this advice. Uh, we're here with Ms. Johnson, and we also need her advice on boys. What What do you think the best part about a guy is? Depends on the guy. I would say that if you are looking for, I think you just find somebody who can be a good friend, and someone who's fun to be around, and is not going to be too serious, and um, you enjoy talking to and spending time with. And what about the looks? The looks. Mm -hmm. Does that matter? Okay, hygiene is really important. So I would say the most important part is making sure that they have good hygiene. And how did you meet your husband? Um, we met as teenagers. I was I was 16, and it was my first job, and I worked at Wendy's, and I was the sandwich maker, and he was the grill guy, and he was he was. 
fun to be around and we he was kind and I had a lot of fun with him and so that's how we met. How should we meet our husbands? I would wait until way after I did. Like I would wait until college and to where you really know what you want to do with your life so that you have similar interests and similar goals. Otherwise it makes it a lot more stressful. Well, thank okay. you for this advice. Okay. The 8th grade girls played at the Keatley Center and the boys played here at Spring Garden. Both games went very well. I can't wait to see how this year will go. I asked a few people before the game. This is Cameron and Alec and they're on the basketball team. Alec, are you excited? Yes. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you think you guys' teams are ready? Yeah. What's your favorite thing you do at practice? Probably just remembering the drills and having fun with my friends. What about you? <laughs> Basketball drills. the opposite of how we played. Zachary Deshaun, before our first meet on Thursday, how do you think the meet will go? I think it will go pretty good. We got a really tough team. How many years have you been doing this? This would be my first year. Why did you start this? I thought it would be something I really enjoyed. The first wrestling meet was Thursday, November 9th. All the wrestlers did really well. There is a meet Saturday the 11th at Central High School at 8 a.m. Be there to support your fellow wrestlers.